Hi, my lovely YouTubers. It's me, Morgan Tracy J. Today with the with my video about just the single ladies. I don't know about you, but I am a young single woman in 2016, and I am celibate, so I'm not having sex until I am married. And so, what I will say is, I'm not perfect. I've had sex before. I've lived a life. I've encountered some things. But what I say is, when you do it wrong so many times, you're eventually like in this state of like. I'm just gonna get it right. I'm gonna try to do it right with God because I've done it wrong a thousand and one times and I've ended up getting bad results. So maybe if I do it right in God, then I'll reap something good. I'll get some good results, you know? And so what I will say is being a single woman in today's age is not easy. And also sometimes you have to be a little choosy, you know? You have to be like, you can't pursue me because that ain't that don't line up with my worth. It don't line up with what my father has revealed to me it don't line up with even the calling and the, 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 the ministry, whatever is on my life. It doesn't completely line up. So what I will say is be cautious. But most of all, embrace your singleness. Singleness is a time to not only just have uninterrupted devotion with God, but it is a time to get immersed in God. It is a time to find yourself. It is a time to just do the things that you love to do. It's a time to take on opportunities that will not only fulfill you, but teach you things too. Singleness is a time to just embrace life because now you are in a place where you and you have your eyes fixed on Jesus. Jesus has his eyes fixed on you and y'all are just, y'all's doing y'all's thing. That's exactly where I think I found the most joy, the most peace, the most Definitely the most challenges, I will say, so far in my life. A lot of challenges, but also a lot of strength, a lot of overcoming, a lot of perseverance, a lot of faith right here in my singleness. My singleness has been such a blessing, although at first I thought it was a curse. I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot be single. This is not for me. But over the times and over the challenges and over the tribulations, man, I just started to grow more in love with God and I started to truly see who I really am. You know, no longer attached to a person, but just as an individual in God. I started to see that. So what I'm telling you, if you are a single young woman or if you're practicing celibacy, if you are in a relationship, if you're confused, whatever you are, understand that do something that is going to reap good. Because if you do something good, you will reap goodness. And so, do not grow weary in well-doing. Stay strong in this. Have a firm foundation of God, and you will conquer this. It, this is not as big as we make it out to be, honestly. You know, celibacy is a challenge the first couple months, probably the first six months, especially when you start to get pursued. Celibacy is a challenge. Not everybody is for celibacy. So, with that being said, understand what you require. Understand that, you know, how disciplined you are. Be disciplined, you know, and then with that being said, go out and enjoy life. God has given us this big open life, and you as a single woman, you go and you enjoy it. You embrace it. You embrace it. You don't hold back. You don't wait on no man. You don't wait on a ring. You live life. You embrace it. You, as I say, you grab it by the horns, and you get going. You pursue your passion. You pursue whatever God has put in your heart. You pursue them opportunities that God has given you. You pursue everything that God has around you. Take on those things. If you only get one life to live, and if you are single right now, then, hey, you better start grabbing. Get out there and work. Wake up every day like you're on a mission, for not only for yourself, but for God. Use each day as a gift. You are in a time where you don't have really any interruptions yet. So embrace this time as a single woman. Do your will. Do the will of God and get it done. Because it's, it's so amazing. And singleness is amazing. But you just have to look at it like that. You have to take on the opportunities. You have to get the teachings. You have to get the knowledge and the wisdom and the understanding. You have to be created and reformed. It needs to cut off some things from you. But overall, it's going to be such beautiful. It's going to be so beautiful. And so that's my big old rant on for single ladies today, okay? I haven't done a vlog in a while for this, but it's been on my heart every day this week. And I really just want to talk to my beautiful single ladies because I'm single and I'm celibate. And it's not easy, but what I do know, hey, God is worth it. It's so worth it. It's so worth it. Just the feeling, just knowing your worth, it's worth it. It's so worth it.